the AS5. The tier 8 heavy tank today we look at. Yeah. Now, first replacement Sam Yolo of the Quest Clan playing on Winter Malinovka. And thank you for your replay, my friend. Mmm, stats for this premium tier 8 heavy tank we'll look at now. Yes. 2035 DPM, 221 pan, 400 alpha. Looking at a reload of 11.79, and time of 2.81, dispersion of 0.389, shell velocity 1400, depression 5, elevation 17. Speed 4 to 42, reverse 14, view range of 253. The camo still is 12%, moving 6%, after shot 2 and 1%. Tarot armor 201, hull armor, a new 20. Oh, unlucky on that shot. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the replays. Winding up. Nice shot into the side of him, 384 on the board. It's not a tank I play often. I know you can, can, can get this quite cheaply. But yeah, it's not a tank I play often. I'd pick probably the 252U over this or even the IS-3. been a little bit power crept over the time it really needs a little bit of love Run up the back of this tank or oh, unlucky again on this tank this is Achilles heel oh nice little block for 310 nice shot into him Pulling back. Premium. Nice shot. 1468 damage. 310 blocked. But if you after a tier 8 and reasonable credit earner, this ain't too bad. And like I said, you can pick it up quite cheap. I believe once your clan rewards get to level 10 you're able to buy this tank and the credit rating on it's not too bad another nice little block there 2372 damage with 620 blocked and one kill pushing around the corner shoot and see how he checks his ammo see if he can Put a HE in quite quickly and then change it back. And personally there, I would have gone for the C49. It's a nasty little tank. Nice HE shot into him. No go this time. Oh, nice little block. I'll drop down on the Tiger 2 now. Takes a hit. Gives a nice one into the side. 3,739 damage. One that? Oh, game over. Let's take a look at the results. Thanks again, Sam. Three thousand seven hundred thirty-nine damage. One thousand one hundred and eighty blocked with two kills for that golden M. 2,040 XP and 120,000 credits. A nice job at the top there. Now, our last replay is from the deal for real. Of the old clan playing black on Black Goldville, and thank you for your replay. My friend, I appreciate it. Pushing up. Now, some reloads may look different to the, what I read out earlier. That can be due to people using better pen on these tanks. 
some people prefer that to make sure their shot's going a bit better and also as you progress and research more things on the tank it can make a variation as well and you load out some people like to use a couple of uh, I think it's jerry cans for your faster f movement some people use medical on their tanks for better protection and then other people use I think it's different foods or drinks and that gives you a faster reload and a few other benefits so far he's blocked 160 damage Oh, just missing that. That blocks another 310 there. So somebody's coming around the side there. Oh, there's another tank there. Can you get a shot into the comet? Ooh, almost there. This comet's not picking around too much. And it's pushing around. And it gets rid of the comet and let it shot. 312 damage, 470 block with one kill. You can side scrape a little bit with this tank. And that will help you block a few shots. I've even seen some people try to reverse side scrape and sometimes that works. But it all depends on people's skill levels that can change from person to person. Nice shot into the T32. Waiting for that reload. 689 damage on the board. Another nice shot there. Waiting for that reload. Adrenaline's not quite ready. Oh, nice, and a little fire damage. They are helping you, Helsing. Just reload. But there's, guys, even if something goes wrong, there's no need to insult people like this guy is. It's just not right. So please, don't insult people. It doesn't accomplish anything. And if you're in the next game with them, they're more likely not to help you if you insult them. Nice shot there. Four kills, 2,348 damage so far. With 470 blocked. So the best idea is not to insult people. Plus, you don't want to get a comms ban or something like that. When you need the thing, you can't help get help. Nice shot, max roll. 2,848 damage now. There's two tanks left at the moment. And don't do that, what that guy do. Kill, please. So that can be considered match fixing. And if somebody reports here, you may lose your account for a while. And there's the enemy tank. Nice shot in there and a nice little block. And what he's doing here is quite smart. He's sitting on this base, drawing this enemy tank out, making him play. So it's a good idea near the end of the game to try
try and do this, but I wouldn't do it at the beginning of the game. And you're just giving away your location and asking to be shot. So just looking for this last enemy. Ready to put a shot at him, and boom, there it goes. Game over. Thanks again, the deal for real and Sam, for your replays, it is appreciated. Now let's take a look at the official results. 3,635 damage, 136,000 credits, and 5 kills. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you all on the next one, and I'll see you then. And may the force be with you. Bye-bye now, and take care. Yee-hee! <laughs>